The concept of vampires represents the character of Dracula in the minds of most people, or even vampire bats in South America. They are the ones who think of very small birds, in fact there are birds, bloodsuckers, that feed on the blood of larger birds. And they were first declared in a volcanic area called the Galapagos Islands Biodiversity Islands, and part of the return to it is isolated about 1,000 kilometers from the coast of Ecuador. The organisms on these islands can survive and adapt to their harsh conditions in some way, otherwise they would become extinct. Darwin's birds are one such example of these things. Named after the naturalist Charles Darwin and the owner of Low Natural Selection, who collected specimens during his famous voyage on the ship HMS Beagle, the bird group consists of several species developed from a common ancestor. But the question is, how could this type of vampire develop? The presence of these birds is limited to Wolf and Darwin Islands, which are located in the far north of the archipelago, and both of them are moderate even in the Galapagos Islands, and fresh water is rare and can treat them to whole food in the dry season. These birds arrived on these islands half a million years ago and began to coexist with mottled seabirds such as the Red Waka. Over time, birds may have evolved to feed on parasites found in birds' feathers and on their skin, a mutual benefit and parasite mutations in birds increased, while birds benefited from an alternative to the usual diet of cactus, seeds, and insects that would disappear in drought.